everyone this is Rachelle thanks for clicking on my video just wanted to come in today to see if you guys had heard about all these rumors uh, concerning love and hip-hop Atlanta uh, the rumor is that they have fired the entire cast uh, can you believe that when I first heard it I you know laughed a little bit because um, we've all been complaining that some of these stories are far-fetched they're unbelievable they're unrealistic um, they need to come clean with some of them so I thought that maybe that's why they had done it but then when I got to thinking about it there are some characters that I want them to keep and basically that's the core group that they started with uh, the Jocelyn, Stevie J, Mimi, you know, maybe get rid of Kurt and Rashida, and a couple of the others, K. Michelle, um, because that core group, if they keep them and add some additional, more interesting ones, not with these far-fetched stories, I think it would make the show better. They need to just come clean about. Uh, Stevie J and Jocelyn at the reunion show just say you know they weren't married this was part of a little thing that they did that accidentally snowballed into something and like Stevie J said he decided to run with it just let it go we all know that they weren't married let that one go add some new interesting you know folks to the cast and stick to reality don't manufacture storylines that they think that we're gonna like also i think that they should take a note from bravo for some reason it seems that bravo has like some type of um non-disclosure agreement with their cast members because we don't get those bombshells on bravo until the reunion show like when they're filming you don't know all of this stuff is going on in the background we're watching love and hip-hop and there's one story on tv and then in the media we're watching reality play out so they either need to give these people a gag order and tell them they cannot discuss or you know let out anything that's going on on the show or get rid of the ones that are out in the media acting a fool because one thing is we watch these shows we do watch them for the entertainment value but we want it to be a little realistic because it is supposed to be a quote unquote reality show but love and hip-hop has gone haywire it's like they're just throwing everything at the wall and then trying to see what sticks and that's messing up the show uh we like the fireworks we like the messiness we like you know some of the complicated stories but get back to that core group and just really focus on their lives and maybe bring in some of their real friends because um, um some of these characters that they brought in this season i don't even understand why they brought them in it, it's just stupid and it made the show uh kind of crazy you're from one thing to to the other with stories that don't completely fit in together Bravo seems to go out and find a group of people that are truly friends, that truly move in and out of each other's lives on a daily or monthly basis. So the storylines, you know, they're a little more, just a tad bit more realistic. And a lot of it doesn't seem to be staged. And I want Love and Hip Hop to get back to that because in the beginning, that's what they were doing and that's why we liked it so i don't want them to fire the entire cast get rid of the ones whose storylines are just stupid like that young jock in the bed with the one guy's woman that would not have happened in real life it just it was so staged and who calls in the telephone crew I'm sorry, the television crew, when they've just slept with their boy's woman, that does not even make sense. 
So I'm begging Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, get back to what you were doing in the beginning when we fell in love with the show, with all the stuff that was going on with Mimi and Jocelyn. I know now that they've had relations. We can't go back that far, but at least we could get back to some kind of reality on this show because this mess is crazy. And yes, Jill Scott has gotten married. Um, on Saturday, Jill Scott wed her longtime boyfriend. Um, she kept it classy, very private, um, and she did what a lot of stars are unable to do. Um, she was able to keep this a secret. No one even seemed to know that she was engaged or anything. And from the reports, this was done in her Tennessee home um, in her backyard. And she had a surprise um, guest that was uh, Big Daddy Kane. And there are, you know, now videos and pictures all over the internet with Jill smiling and just seems to be very happy. I'm, I'm so glad that she was able to keep this what's you know, it was a very personal moment in a person's life, just that personal. Um, you know, the media wasn't swarming. Um, there weren't photographers, you know, trying to catch pictures of her private moment. And um, it seems like she's very happy. And, you know, in Jill Scott's song, she gives us a little piece of herself, her deepest thoughts and, you know, what it's like with her and her man. But again, I'm just glad that she was able to keep this very close to you know just the people that she truly cared about and then after everything was done you know let the surprise out so good for you jill i wish you all the love and happiness that your heart can hold okay folks this last story is about beyonce's mom tina knows um beyonce performed at the BET awards and right after she had to leave. Um, now, Beyonce won a couple awards that evening and her mom, Tina, got up to accept her awards for her since she had to leave. Apparently, Beyonce was gonna be performing in London and um, she had like a nine hour flight uh, or 10 hour flight and then there's a nine hour time difference. So when her mother was giving the um, the speech, she got the dates and maybe the, the city wrong. So Twitter interpreted that as that she was lying about the reason that Beyonce wasn't there anymore, that she actually left. Now, what happened since then is her mother put out a message. She apologized first about, you know, getting things wrong. She said it was brought to her attention that she bungled, you know, some of what she said. And she also said that even though people thought Beyonce pretty much ran off after, I guess, performing, that Beyonce actually really wanted to be there. She said that Beyonce had um, gathered her dancers and her whole crew and took a plane and flew there to practice for the BET Awards and that she was very committed to it. It's just that she had prior arrangements made to perform over in Europe. Now, as a mother, um, Tina Knowles was there, proud of her daughter and just trying to explain what was going on. And, you know, she may not be up on every second of what's going on in her adult daughter's life, <clears throat> excuse me, as far as her tour schedule and exact dates and time, but I think they were telling the truth. Now, I'm not a big, huge Beyonce fan. I'm not going to sit here and act like I think she's the greatest performer on earth, but in this instance, I believe them that, you know, Beyonce was committed to that award show and she really wanted to perform. So I think that maybe, you know, we should cut the mother a little slack and, you know, she probably was nervous when she got up there to, to give the award and probably talked a little bit more. You know how when you're, you have in your mind what you're going to say, but when you get up there and you turn around and you face that 
huge audience you kind of ramble on and you might say things that you didn't mean to say I think it's more of of that um, she knows that what her daughter feels about the you know the award show and on the black community and I think they were just being honest and maybe it was misinterpreted but I think we should give her a little break so uh, this one for Tina knows um, you know you're a mom you were there supportive of your daughter she had to leave and you got up and you made a mistake with the dates I don't think it was any more than that so that was pretty much my little celebrity tea hope you enjoyed it you guys have a great day and again thank you for clicking on my video bye bye now